Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. Our subject today is a Buffalo Link Station a 210. Now, I just want to show you how easy and quickly you can set it up um, if you've never used one of these devices before. It could be a little overwhelming because they don't come with a, um, instructions how to set it up without putting in an uh, application on your phone to help you configure it. So if you want to go that route and install the application, I haven't tried it because I don't trust those applications and I just don't want it on my phone, plain and simple. Um, but what is this? Uh, how do you set it up without the phone? This is network attached storage, which is basically a, a hard drive enclosure with adapter to connect to your network. Now, you can't connect this directly to your computer and treat it like a, a mass storage, like a pen drive or external drive. This is designed just to connect to your network and access it through the network. So first thing that you do is you obviously connect it to your router, right? In this case, we're using Xfinity, uh, pretty popular in Atlanta area. Uh, once you did that, what's the next step? First, we need to know what our IP address is. Um, actually, we don't need to know what our IP address is. We need to know the IP address of the gateway. And based on your IP, local IP address, you can easily figure out uh, what your uh, gateway IP address is. Uh, so um, I'm using Windows, uh, and in this case, I'm using Bash on Windows. It really doesn't matter. Um, on Windows, it's going to be IP config. You can type it in the terminal. You don't need any special um, privileges. You don't have to be the administrator or anything. And that will reveal your local IP address, which is in my case 79, which means that one <laughs> is usually going to be your, your gateway. It's not. Uh, it's not necessary. That that's just a common way of 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 doing this. Um, it, it's not always, or it doesn't have to be one. Your gateway can be under any IP address. Um, but you're going to see it over here. Default gateway uh, is our router. So this is our router. Now, why do we need this address? We need this address because once we go to 10.0.0.1, we can log in to our router. Now, this is not these credentials over here are not the credentials you use to connect to Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi password is going to be different. Um, this one, uh, the username is going to be an admin, and the password is going to be password. If you've never set up uh, that uh, device delivered by Xfinity, the default password will be password. Once you type in your password, password, uh, it will ask you for a new password. So first login uh, will reset re reset your password. I obviously already uh, put in my password. Uh, even if this password leaks, don't worry. Um, f uh, to gain connection to this device, you first need to connect either to Wi-Fi or to physically connect the cable to the device. Uh, so it's even if someone knows this password, they can't really do anything until they actually connect to your network. So if your um, Wi-Fi password is not leaked, you're good, even if this one is leaked, even if you give it the uh, low uh, complexity. And uh, the requirements for this password are only letters and numbers. You can't put any special characters, spaces, or anything like that. So inherently, this password is going to be relatively low complexity. Now. Once we log in, we're going to navigate to connected devices. And I have plenty of them connected, but only one is connected via Ethernet. All of the others are connected with 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Now, uh, as you can see, the device is called LS210D805. That is exactly what we have, right? So. We just click on it, and that's how we learn what the IP address has been given by the DHCP server. 
Now having that, we're going to navigate to another tab and we're going to paste this address here. And the same thing, we're going to have the default password provided uh, by, the, uh, by the manufacturer. I don't remember uh, where that default password was. Uh, where it was over here. Uh, I think it's typed on the back of the device. Don't, don't quote me on this. It doesn't really matter. You should uh, you should have this password somehow from the box. Now, obviously, I also changed my password here. So I'm going to use the different one, not the... Mm, I do believe the, the password was admin, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. Once we logged in here, the only thing that we need is to click over here on the info and get our device name. Because that device name in turn will allow us to just go to our um, system or to our um, navigator, the, what do you call it, the explorer. Just hit double backslash and paste the name of the device. And that's it. That's what I use it for mainly to just <laughs> put my YouTube videos on it. It's four terabytes. So it's going to be a while until I I've um, fill it completely. Uh, we can probably so now we can obviously uh, map network drive and give it a give it a letter. You can see that I already have it mapped as V. So that's where I keep my YouTube videos on. Uh, you can see it over here. And uh, we can also. I don't know why it closed, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we can also uh, create a network uh, location that will also show up in your computer um, as a kind of almost like a disk, but it's not but it's not mapped drive. It's just network location. It's treated kind of like a folder. The rest of this, you can find a lot of um, help on how to configure it. My goal was how to quickly set it up because when I received it, I had to figure all that out by myself uh, because there wasn't a quick video that would show me how to uh, connect it to my to my network. Right. Other than just put the um, uh, cable in the router, but then you need to know the IP address. And as you connect um, over here, you probably should be able to use the IP address. Let's check that. Let's copy the IP address again and do backslash backslash and IP address. And that works as well. So once you know the IP address, you can quickly connect to it. Now it comes with uh, no um, uh, credentials. You don't have to log in or anything because it's assumed to be connected to your uh, personal network. So it's not protected by any uh, authorization or authentication. That's pretty much it. And now you can dump your entire library of videos or whatever you have on this drive. Uh, very much recommended because it's uh, cheap and it works. <laughs> I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.